Hello, I'm Richard Blumenthal, your United States Senator. So proud and excited to share this day with you and to say thank you first to the college's leadership, faculty, and staff. Our community colleges are one of the pillars of our public education excellence, great and growing. I want to say thank you to your family, friends, loved ones who have been there for you over these years, especially this past year. And to all the veterans who are with us today, a special thank you for fighting and serving and sacrificing to preserve the freedoms that enable your education and this wonderful ceremony. This past year has been unlike any in our recent lifetime. For many of you, full of pain and grief, hardship and heartbreak, but also hope and renewal. And you have lived through it with grace and dignity and determination. You are better prepared to face the challenges ahead than any generation in recent history. I've watched you with admiration rise to these challenges. You've worked as first responders. You've been caregivers for family members. You've raised children and you've marched and rallied to advocate for crucial causes. I've joined you at a number of those marches and rallies to stop hate crimes and injustice and climate change and uphold the rule of law and justice in policing and housing and education and healthcare. You've shown already that you are prepared to make change, indeed be the change, and serve to improve our nation. And you've learned that there is a sacred compact that every generation of Americans makes with the one to come, that you will leave this country better than you found it. We are counting on you to fulfill that contract, work toward causes you're already advancing, like gender equity in the workplace, so we have equal pay for equal work, and services for our veterans, so we leave no veteran behind. You have also learned one of the key lessons in life. You must be strong and brave enough to help others, but you also have to be strong and brave enough sometimes to accept help. A promising time awaits you as we turn the corner on conquering this pandemic and reviving our economy full of hope and expectation, and especially for you. We wish you all the best. Congratulations.